Where the fuck did you come from, you monster? Jesus Christ, she just spawned in front of me. I think she might have gone through the door the moment I did. Alright. And, oh, I missed. Damn it. <laughs> this is the part where you fall down and bleed to death. I think I've memorized all the dialogue in this game. Oh, got you. Right. Dacker. It's not worth much, but it's not very heavy, so we'll take it. Oh yeah, also don't think that arrows actually weigh anything in Skyrim. They do in this game, so there's that. Alright. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, having talked about Elder Scrolls Online before, um, if you haven't, you should watch the the gameplay they did from a dungeon. That was um, quite fun to watch. It's uh, a little bit... Okay, maybe a, only a little bit, but it, it does resemble the combat quite well. Although, um, there's a lot of things you don't see in it. Ooh, nice. Right. As you can see, we're almost at our limit here. Um, can't carry that much more. Of course, if I do actually pick up more stuff, I'll be able to still walk, but it'll be at slow speed and I won't be able to fast travel. The same way they did with, uh, with Fallout 3. Now, I don't know if by the time this comes out that I will actually have, um, have uploaded the video I did in Space Engineers, but in that video I, whether or not it's uploaded yet, um, at the same time before or after this one here, I don't know. Anyway, but in that video I talked about I wanted to have um, done a series in Fallout 3, but uh, I mean there's been a lot of complications. First, when I tried it, it didn't work, and then it did work, and eh, it was a little bit annoying. It turns out that um, I already knew that the game wasn't for free, wasn't optimized for Windows 7. It even says that on the Steam page, but um, what what they don't say is that it's also not able to uh, to um, run on dual core computers because it will it will I think it will only use one core, which uh, I don't really know what I'm talking about to be honest. I'm just paraphrasing, but um, I won't be able to use one core, and therefore it will cause um, crashes for a lot of people. So it sucks a lot. But I try to uh, make it uh, use more than one core. Um, I think I have a dual core computer myself, and I don't know. It it, it did work. It, it started up, but then whenever I talk to anybody, or well, not anybody, but whenever I talk to someone. For example, if I talk to the father in the beginning of the game, it will crash immediately as I talk to him. And then I, I thought, hmm, maybe if I just load a um, save, which is further ahead, one of my old saves from 2010, maybe if I did that, I would, uh, I would be able to just play it smoothly from there. But I, w I was able to play for a certain, uh, yeah, for some time, but uh, then. I talked to another character and, and the game crashed again. So it's a little bit annoying. I mean, I could play the game without ever talking to anybody, um, but then I wouldn't be able to do quests and whatnot. So I decided that. Uh, oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Daydream. Um, so yeah, I just decided that I was not gonna. Do a, a series and fall out, so it, it became this game instead. So yeah. Um, also, I'm looking forward to Fallout 4 a lot. I'm unsure of uh, how they'll actually do it, but I hope it'll be more reminiscent of uh, Fallout 3 than New Vegas, because to me, New Vegas was like a I don't know. 
more friendlier version of Fauna Crusader. It was not as dark, it was not as bleak. But too many happy characters. And just generally too many people in the game. Uh, if you played Fallout 3, you would you would be able to walk, I don't know, what what's about like, I don't know, 10 kilometers straight without ever meeting a, a person. And if you did meet a person, it would maybe be someone uh, who would try to kill you like a bandit or something. But in, in uh, New Vegas, you just... Hold on, uh, how do I get this one? Right? New Vegas, you just... Uh, Everybody you met were like happy people, had weapons, and I mean, I don't know, it just it didn't seem right. And then the the mutants, I mean, usually the mutants, um, like Deathclaw and whatnot, usually they, they don't bother me too much. I mean, it's okay that they're there, but I like Fallout because of the human versus human conflicts. Uh, so, I don't know. They put a lot of em emphasis on, on that in Fauna, in Vegas, I thought. So, I don't know. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So, anyway, let's see what we found here. Might have found another rune. What the hell is this? Let's just quick save here. I don't know if I just quick save actually. Probably did. That's the thing, uh, you might notice that little quick save sign a lot because, I don't know, I have a computer I can't really rely on, so I tend to quick save as often as I can. Okay, so we do have a ruin up here. Can we actually see it on the map, maybe? Uh, nope, we haven't discovered it yet. I think I'll try to afford Emperor. I think I'll try to. Uh, oh, there are people here. I'll try to find the unicorn and get this amount at one point as well. I really like the unicorn. Okay, we've got an imp here. Missed. See if there are any zombies here. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. I knew there was one more. Right. <laughs> and it might not be any more here. We're just gonna. What was that? Oh, okay, that was just a spell. More off. Got some stuff here. Ten gold, yay! It's a fortune. This might be a for quest. I don't know. But what I really like about, especially Bethesda-made um, games, um, RPGs, is that you can just wander around, stumble upon something and just, just completely take you off course. So you can see for example here, I'm just uh, lolling about here. I think we'll go explore this, it might be interesting. Ford Empire. Depending on how I edit this, might split this up into parts. Might not. But the problem is I um get up people here. Uh the problem is that I I tend to 
tend to talk all the time, so usually I mention I mention something I want to keep in the video, but ends out <laughs> just leaving everything in. So usually when you see a video, it's just 100% raw <laughs> raw video. That's uh, that's ex always yeah! exactly what I recorded. I don't know. I don't like wasting stuff if I like like the content. Of course, a lot of people may think that content is shit, but I always have the I always have the idea that you should like your stuff, and then people can decide if they like it afterwards. Because if you don't like the stuff you put out yourself, then there's no reason to actually put it out. Whoa! What the? Oh, that's strange. That's a nice, nice little <laughs> square. What rectangle is it? Okay, okay, okay. Right. Uh, probably zombies here. I'm actually surprised there are no zombies yet. Usually, always zombies in, <laughs> in these tombs here, and I fucking hate them because, for f <laughs> firstly, they hit so damn hard, and secondly, they are so scary. Alright. Oh, hello. I think we'll try fireball. You're dead. Oh, we got one of these again. Oh, hold on. Right, cool. Um, just gonna quick save here and let's do this here. <laughs> I'm always too um, quick about these things. There we go. Iron arrows, that's nice. I don't know if it's pounds or kilos it's measured in, but I have about 50 pounds or 50 kilos worth of... No, not 50, alright. Okay, so I actually only have about 10 kilos or 10 pounds worth of arrows. Still, that's quite a lot. <laughs> Imagine carrying around 10 pounds of arrows. Actually, I've actually um, practiced archery myself, <sighs> and arrows really aren't that heavy. I'm actually using um, abnormally big arrows because usually they're very thin, <laughs> but. The arrows I shoot with my with my bow, they are pretty thick because I made them myself. And they're like hollow tubes or something, but I mean, no way, I don't know. I know it's less than 100 grams, but maybe 50 grams, I don't know. Oh yeah, you can also, damn, you can get vampires to season this. I completely forgot. Vampire disease is not very nice in in Skyrim, but in <laughs> in Oblivion, it's the worst thing ever. The moment there's a sun outside, you're <laughs> you're screwed because you take damage all the time. He has a nice aim, that little imp here. All right. Uh, let us see, let us see. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Nice. Alright. Okay, so we can traverse across here. And what is this? Probably some boss room soon. I 
Okay, so I think there's two types of imps. There's the... <laughs> there's the... Uh, shoot one lightning spell and then attack. And there's the only fire flame balls at you. Alright. So we're running out of space. Let's just see here. Maybe I can use something. Maybe a health potion. Mana potion, let's use that. Right, quick save. Oh, that was a nice hit. Jesus Christ, I have a good aim, man. <laughs> it's almost heat seeking, heat seeking fireballs. It's not too nice. And. Ooh, that was very satisfying. Okay. Pew. And pew. Sound like birds when they when they get hit for some reason. All right. I don't really understand. It's supposed to be a absorb absorb life spell, but I don't really seem to get any life regenerated from actually using that spell. Let's just heal here. Fire doesn't seem to cost as much, so we'll use that instead. Oh. 